Hi everyone, welcome to Tokyo for DSCI Japan 2023. This is the second edition of the event. It is fairly big with over 250 exhibitors. Of course, we'll focus on naval programs, starting with the ATLA Agency. With us is the Director General of the Technology Department of ATLA, Dr. Aurier. Doctor, good morning. Thanks for welcoming us on the ATLA booth. Welcome to ATLA booth. So, ATLA uh, has an uh, in charge of uh, so technology, uh, technology and acquisition and also uh, logistics. So, in this uh, DSEI, so we plan to uh, disseminate uh, so our technology and uh, our equipment capability in Japan, so especially including us so neighbor system too. Yep. Dr. Aurier, you are showcasing the Type 12. Uh, can you tell us more? Okay, so in Japan, so currently, so standoff defense capability is a very important. Uh, so uh, we conduct uh, so some kind of research and development for many kind of uh, missile system. So one of so missile system is an uh, upgrade of a uh, 12 SSM. Yeah, we have already have a uh, so 12 SSM system. So we currently uh, uh, we try to update the capability of that one, including a uh, so uh, long range fly. Yeah. Provide more range to the missile. Yes, yes. This is the display model of your uh, research on hypersonic uh, weapons. Yes. What is the status of your research? Uh, currently, we conduct research for hypersonic missile. So, uh, currently, we uh, focus on the so, uh, scrum jet engine. So, we conducted a grand test of a scrum jet engine. So, uh, from next year, we plan to start the so. Or system demonstration of uh, this uh, hypersonic missile. So scramjet means uh, the fuel for the missile is the atmosphere. It uses air as the fuel to go very fast. Yes, yes. So at least uh, this missile flight uh, at least Mach 5, at least. Once the development is completed, uh, will this uh, missile be able to strike uh, enemy ships? And uh, will it be able to be launched from uh, ships? Okay, so this is uh, still under uh, research head. So uh, when we move to, uh, move to uh, so development phase, we uh, decide the uh, so mission of this missile system. Yeah, can you please guide us through the different parts of the hypersonic weapon? Okay, this is uh, just conceptual model of uh, so hypersonic weapon. Uh, this part is a uh, uh, warhead. Uh, this part is a fuel tank, uh, and uh, this part is uh, overall a uh, scramjet system. Especially, this is an uh, inlet, combustor, and also nozzle. Atla is also showcasing technologies for the FFM, Mogami class, or so the next generation frigate of the JMSDF. There are three sensors on display that are fitted on board the FFM. So the Unicorn, the OQQ, as well as a phase array radar. Uh, doctor, can you please first tell us about the Unicorn okay. system? Okay, Unicorn is a so, Unicorn is a so integrated antenna system. So uh, it has a function of a so ESM and also communication. So this so antenna is integrated in a one mast. Upper side is a so ESM, lower side is communication. What about the variable depth uh, sonar, the OQQ? Yes, so we can use uh, this sonar so with a different uh, uh, depth of uh, ocean. So we can uh, find the so submarine by using this one efficiently. Thank you very much. And uh, finally, what is this uh, display? Yes, okay. This is a uh, so, uh, radar system for uh, so anti-air warfare. So uh, this uh, radar technology is applied for the active phase active array uh, uh, technology. And uh, it features uh, advanced technologies such as uh, gallium nitride uh, technology. Yes. In this area of the ATLA booth, the agency is showcasing unmanned underwater vehicles. 
So uh, the first one is a pretty large UUV, about 10 meters in length. Uh, what is the status of this project? Yes, uh, this is uh, so also uh, under research phase. Yeah, uh, the uh, characteristic of uh, this so long time endurance uh, UUV is uh, so has a module system. Yeah, we can exchange a module so uh, on the base of a mission. Okay, so it can conduct uh, mine warfare, and then you change the module with you and include another sonar you can do anti-submarine warfare. Yes. And uh, it has a very big uh, packs of batteries. Is mm -hmm. it a lithium-ion battery? Yes, this is a lithium-ion battery. And the endurance is about how many days? Do you know? Yeah, it depends on the so design. So okay. this is still under research. So mm -hmm. when we uh, transfer to development, so uh, operator uh, require what kind of us, how long uh, we endure this uh, so UUV. And which uh, company makes this UUV? Okay, so this UUV uh, uh, is prototyped by the so Mitsubishi Heavy Industry okay. with us with ATLA. Uh, behind you is uh, the famous OZZ-5, mm -hmm. so also by Mitsubishi Heavy Industry. This is for which mission? Okay, this is this mission is for uh, so uh, mine detection. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is a collaboration with uh, France and uh, French company Thales mm -hmm. and uh, French DGA, which is like the French Atla, mm -hmm. uh, to maybe develop new payloads for mm -hmm. OZZ-5. Yeah, yes, yeah. so uh, originally this was developed uh, by uh, Japanese, uh, Japan. So, uh, but so uh, in order to improve the so, capability for the detection, mine detection, so uh, French and us, Japan, uh, made a so, joint research project. Uh, last but not least, uh, this is an EMD, mm -hmm. Expandable Mine Disposal mm -hmm. System. Yes. Uh, what does it do? Yes, uh, this is a system for the mission of a mine disposal. Yes, the storage the mine. Yeah. So both uh, OZZ-5 and uh, EMD are deployed from FFM for the mine warfare? Yes, uh, this is deployed for FFM. So those are the latest technology for the latest uh, frigate of uh, GMSDF? Yes. 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 Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you so much. We are now at uh, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, uh, who's showcasing for the first time uh, this uh, USV. So as you can guess, this is the real thing. This is not a, a scale model. This is the actual USV functioning one. It is 8.8 uh, .8 meters in length and about uh, 6 tons in displacement. Uh, let's try to find out more with a representative from MHI. We are with Mr. Hiroshi Obama, Senior Chief Engineer and Manager at the Maritime Systems Division of uh, MHI. Mr. Obama, so what can you tell us about the USB? Uh, this USB was built to develop the capabilities needed for defense armament systems. Using this USB, we developed the mine hunting system installed on FFM Mogami class. In addition, we have just successfully demonstrated the remote integrated operation of USB, UUV, and UAV. We are currently developing autonomous functions for several defense missions. Mr. Obama, uh, what is this console? Uh, we'd like to show you, uh, this is a remote control system, Coast Titan. So that is a demonstration movie in here. So you use this console to control both the USV and the UAV? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And you successfully demonstrated the operation of the unmanned system from the console. This is the video we see. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We are now on the booth of IHI, where Japan Marine United Japanese shipbuilder is showcasing the design of its new OPV for the JMSDF. 
I am with Shimada-san, the neighbor architect of this OPV, to find out more about this design. Shimada-san, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for welcoming us on your booth. So, can you please tell us about your design, because you designed this ship. First, its uh, main uh, characteristics. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, good morning. Uh, this is a ship for Japan, uh, uh, Japan Self-Defense Forces. And this is an offshore patrol vessel, especially for Japanese Navy. But uh, we are looking for the export for this ship. And uh, you can see the, this ship has an active anti-rolling damper and a hybrid propulsion. Uh, this is very special items for this ship. And uh, when will uh, GMU deliver the first ship to GMSDF? Uh, it's around uh, 2028, uh, the first ship will be delivered to uh, Japan Navy. So, yeah. And how many in total? The total is uh, 12 ships. Yes, it's planning. And are you already discussing with uh, foreign navies regarding this design? Yes, uh, we are proposing to the foreign countries uh, these ships, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.